Hi, we are really proud to introduce the 2.3 beta version of Autopano Video. There are a lot of new features and improvements you are going to love. Let's start by one of the biggest pain points in the workflow, rendering time. The rendering speed has been sped up by up to 50% between AVP 2.2 and 2.3. Of course, this still depends on your hardware and your projects. And to help target the bottleneck of your configuration, we've added some benchmark information in the rendering tab. Now, let's go back to the beginning of the workflow, file management. We completely reworked the GoPro importer. It's now way smarter and more efficient. To use it, you have to work with micro SD card readers and a USB hub. MTP is not supported. Using card readers will give you the best performance anyway. Another pain point was the split files on the GoPro. As you can see, the chapters are displayed in the interface as subsequences. You can now choose to merge the consecutive chaptered clips during the import without any time difference. So you don't need to use third-party software to concatenate your files anymore. With the new version, you can display the files by cameras or by sequences, and these two presentations are linked. As you can see, if I choose the sequence number 3, it automatically selects the third file on the camera. Let's import the first two chapters of the first sequence and the third sequence. I'm choosing a subfolder organization to have one directory per sequence. And there they are, all your files, merged, renamed, and ready to be processed in Autopana Video. Now I want to introduce the new keyboard shortcuts of this version. They're going to make your workflow even faster. I set my current selection for the stitching and launch the detection. Then I can use Shift F to make the output segment match the current selection. I and O keys will respectively set the input and output points of the render. The A key will bypass the apply button of the preview, making editing the horizon much faster. And finally, the up and down arrows will respectively jump to the previous or next element of the timeline. Since modified GoPro rigs are becoming very popular, we've added some new lens presets. We now have the three Entenai lens calibrations embedded in Autopano Video, and we reworked the GoPro calibrations as well. Have a look at this one-click back-to-back stitching.
Easy, right? Of course, you can still create and add your own lens presets. Still looking to speed up your workflow, we've worked on the preview. It is now much faster than before and we've added the cache preview. If you go to the preferences of AVP, you can enable the cache preview. Choose the size of memory and set the compression of the JPEG images stored in the RAM. This function allows you to pre-calculate the preview of AVP at the desired size. You can see the green bar on top of the timeline showing the computed parts of your video. Once it's done, you can play back these parts at the real speed. While I'm here, let me show you a little UI improvement. You have a button to display the image numbers directly in the preview. This is especially helpful for manual synchronization. And now, one of the biggest features of this version, Cineform Export and the new rendering UI. First of all, we added the ability to change the bitrate and frame rate of your exports directly into the render window without having to create a new MP4 preset. Since most of our customers are professionals focusing on the future, we have implemented the powerful Cineform output. It allows you to render almost lossless videos at more than 4K at the desired preset. We have three levels for that. High, RGB 444, high quality compression, almost lossless. Medium, YUV 422, high quality compression, almost lossless. And low, YUV 422, low quality compression. These outputs are fully compatible with post-processing in all Adobe software. On Mac, you can produce a MOV Cineform. On Windows, you can choose between MOV or AVI. Still focusing on making your workflow more efficient, we reworked the batch renderer. You can now directly add projects to the batch list without opening them using the new batch renderer tab. You can pause or stop a job. The job list is saved and can be resumed after closing the software or if it unexpectedly quits. Following these improvements, we have also added the ability to start a job using the terminal and the appropriate command line. Just call out Pana Video with the batch option and a Kava project as the argument. Once the job is finished, the software automatically closes. Combined with a small script, you can launch a frame rendering running on several computers at the same time. And last but not least, we worked on several UX UI aspects. Authoring editing is now easier because the entire sphere is always rendered and you can see the areas outside the crop zone. You can now work on read-only folders. The working files will be locally stored. This is especially useful for network configuration. 
support of the Apple Magic Mouse and Trackpad has been improved. And finally, from the Autopanda Video Preferences, you can import and export MP4 presets, which is great for working in teams. Thank you for watching, have fun with this new version, and be sure to post any feedback you have on our forum.